Hello, I'm John Rains, Executive Secretary Treasurer of the North Central States Regional Council of Carpenters. Today, I want to provide you an update with what your union is doing to ensure the health and safety of members and the public. Our members' safety and public health is our priority. It is very important that both employees and employers make sure all work sites operate in a safe manner and in compliance with public health orders. There's never been a more serious time when compliance with CDC and OSHA recommendations have been critical to your safety. We are monitoring public health orders closely and are listening to their expertise. I have heard overwhelmingly from members who want to keep working and the many who are also concerned about their health as well as their family's well-being. Our ability to keep working is dependent on contractors and members maintaining these safety and health practices on the job sites. All work must be performed under mandatory safety and public health standards. No member should work in unsafe conditions and should immediately report health and safety concerns to their on-site supervision. If it isn't corrected, report concerns and questions to our COVID-19 hotline at 651-379-0277. In the last week, council leadership has hosted two teleforums with our signatory contractors, contractor associations, and representatives from our health funds. In these conversations, we shared resources for contractors to help them implement and maintain safety protocols on work sites. Some of these resources include a sample job site hazard analysis and safe work procedure policy, a COVID-19 checklist for construction sites to prevent the spread of the virus, a COVID-19 potential worksite scenarios document, and a video that answers common COVID-19 worksite questions. We have also signed a joint statement with Labor and Management, agreeing to specific steps ensuring the health, safety, and welfare of our skilled construction industry workforce and the public. Our COVID-19 checklist includes each contractor assigning a key point person and leader to implement, monitor, and enforce safety protocols on the job site. This includes physical distancing, ensuring sanitary conditions, appropriate cleaning and disinfection, and the following of COVID-19 public health orders. These safety and health practices are mandatory and must be implemented for work to be performed safely. No exceptions, no excuses. It is your right to have safe conditions. Just as you wouldn't work without fall protection, you should not have to work with an undue, unprotected threat of COVID-19. I want to address members who have concerns because either they or a family member is immunocompromised. If you have concerns about working because you or a family member is immunocompromised, we encourage you to speak with your employer about the option of being laid off so that you may access unemployment benefits. We have helped numerous members through this scenario. We also understand that these challenging times can create economic hardships for some of our members. The United Brotherhood of Carpenters and our Regional Council has advocated to ensure there are increases to unemployment insurance and assistance for health care through reinsurance or subsidies for COBRA. Through our health funds, we have increased short-term disability payments for eligible members and are exploring ways to keep health coverage intact. Members may also access the Families First Coronavirus Response Act or FFCRA under certain situations. These situations include 
quarantine under an order from a health care provider, quarantine order from federal, state, or a local government, inability to work due to experiencing symptoms of COVID-19, or you need to care for a child whose school or child care was closed due to this public health emergency. The Department of Labor has released answers to common FFCRA questions, which we have linked to on our website at northcountrycarpenter.org. Again, northcountrycarpenter.org. Because we are such a strong brotherhood, we will work together to ensure one another's safety. I am confident that if we all do our part, we will emerge from these challenging times stronger than we are today, and we are definitely stronger when we work together. Stay healthy and keep each other safe. Thank you.